Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the fame stat in Black Desert, more specifically, what it is, what you get from it, and how to increase your fame stat. This was a question that was asked during one of the Twitch live streams this past weekend, so if you've not tuned into one of those, make sure to catch them, they are on Twitch every single weekend. And real quick, before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's take a look at the fame stat itself. So fame stat is accessed by pressing the P key on the keyboard. Go ahead and press P, it will bring up the My Information tab. You are looking for this fame area right here. So you've got a combat fame, a life fame, a special fame, and a family fame. This fame is across all of your characters on your account, and this family fame is just the sum of these three fames to the left. This total overall family fame, as well as each of the individual fames themselves, give you different bonuses, so we're just going to go down the list from left to right to show you everything that you gain from them and how to increase each one of these. So first of these is the combat fame stat, and the combat fame stat is basically the summation of all of the levels of your characters on your account, multiplied by certain ratios depending on what level they are. Sounds super complicated, and if I'm like not feeling like being a crappy YouTuber right now, I'll probably put it on the screen. But anyway, this is how this breaks down. For all of your characters levels 1 through 56, you get 1 point per level into this combat fame. Once it gets to level 56 through 60, it gets 2 points per level. And once it gets from 60 and up, it will get 5 points per level. And this is all retroactive, so let's say you go from level 59 to 60. At 59, your character's worth 2 points per level, so 59 times 2 is 118. Then you go to level 60, and it goes to 60 times 5, so that character is now worth 300 points. This means that it is extremely beneficial to follow your favorite YouTuber, Evil Do Us Harm's leveling guide up to level 60 to get there super fast and get the maximum amount of combat fame for all the different characters on your account, regardless if you play them or not. Why would you want to do that? Because every single day, depending on how many points of combat fame you have, you will get a certain amount of silver paid to you every single day just for logging into the game. This silver is redeemed from this Black Spirit safe in the bottom right corner, so you can see me hovering it right now down here. Click on that, and you will see Collect Silver Reward, Collectible Silver. Just click Collect Silver Reward, and you will get your silver for the day. This stockpiles, so any silver you haven't claimed because you didn't know about this system for the past like three months you've been playing, is sitting there waiting for you to collect. Enjoy your payday. At any rate, increasing this combat fame is the biggest contribution to that amount of silver that you receive every single day. So next up on our list is going to be the Life Fame Fame tab here. So the Life Fame is probably the most complicated and convoluted of all of these, so I will try to go slowly. As always though, if you still don't understand, feel free to comment below and I will try to assist you further. Anyway, Life Fame is determined by the Life Skill stat across all of your characters. So if you got like your Fishing Alt that's got a super high Fishing skill and you got your Processor and your Cooker, all of these things, cooker is not even a word, all of these things are going to come together and form this life fame stat. How does this work? What you're going to do is navigate over to your life skill tab where you see all of your different life skills. You do not get life skill fame until you reach professional 1 in a stat. Once you reach professional 1, you start at 31 points and level up an additional point every single time. So for example, professional 1 is worth 31 points, artisan 1 is worth 41 points, Master 1 is worth 51 points, and so on and so forth. This is also equivalent to the number of times that you've leveled up the skill. So in order to hit Professional 1, you will have leveled up the skill 31 times. So if you just want to think of it that way, you can think of it that way as well. All of this should be flashing up on your screen right now. So for example, my character right here. I have Artisan 10 Gathering, which means that's worth 50 points because it is 41 to Artisan 1, plus 9 more levels to Artisan 10 for 50. If we look at processing, that's worth 44, so that's 94 total points. This is worth another 47. Professional 5 would be worth 35 more points. Professional 5 is 35 more points, and Professional 9 is 39 more points. So you just got to add all of these up together, and you'll get a number. So for me, adding all of these up, it's 303. You then take that number and divide by 2, which knocks it down to 151 and a half. The exception to this rule is if you hit Guru stat with any one of your life skills. At Guru Stat, you do not divide that skill by 2, you keep it as its own number. But let's just say for giggles that my trade skill was Guru 3 for some reason, right? That would mean that I would get 83 points from that, because Guru starts with 80 points, you have to reach 80 levels in order to get to Guru. So 83 for Guru 3. And then that does not get divided by 2, so I would add that on top of my 151, taking me up to like 232-ish. Uh, this final number, after all of the math, is what pops up in the Life Fame stat. 
Once again, your life fame contributes to that silver per day that you get from the Black Spirit safe box down here. It adds a little bit more to it, but not nearly as much of an impact as the combat fame does have. The final unique fame in this tab is the special fame. So the special fame is super easy to calculate. Press the H key on the keyboard, look at this gained knowledge number in the bottom corner. Take this number and divide by 10, then add to it your contribution points. So in my case, if I press the H key, I have 2474, so 247, dividing by 10, right? Just move the zero over one place, 247. Then add to that 314, and it comes out to 561, which rounds up after you take that 0.4 that was left over to 562. Really, really simple to calculate. Once again, press the H key, gained knowledge divided by 10 down here in the bottom corner, add your contribution points to it. Really, really straightforward. This also increases the amount of silver you get per day in the box down here with the Black Spirit. All gets added cumulatively with the other two. The final tab that is non-unique is the Family Fame, and as we mentioned, this is an addition of the three previous fames right here. So all of my fames summate to 2385. As your total Family Fame increases, it increases the amount of silver you collect from the marketplace. As you know, there is a 35-ish percent tax whenever you sell something on the marketplace without a value pack. And if you have a value pack, it's like a 15.5% tax. This is just additional silver that you would get back from that tax. So it reduces your tax by a little small amount. So it's nice to level it up, but as you can see, it's relatively insignificant and not something you should say, OMG, I'm going to level up 4 billion characters so I save half a percent on my money that I make on the market. Stonks. And that's basically it for the family fame stats. So these are all the different fames. That is how you increase them all. They all increase the amount of silver that you gain per day or the amount of silver you make off of the marketplace. Not something you absolutely need to kill yourself over, but a nice little bonus as you progress your character in Black Desert. If this video is going to help you to understand Black Desert, progress in Black Desert, make a little extra money every single day, let me know in the comments what you think. Also make sure to like and also make sure you subscribe so you stay updated when new video guides like this come out. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.